I would say make a resolution to be a better person now. Make it a resolution of discipline to get better, smarter, faster, stronger, healthier, more productive, less agitated. That resolution of discipline to work and follow through and maintain your will. That'll result in the freedom that you're looking for. Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test was nine dots and you had to draw five lines with a pencil within these nine dots without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. And understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day that in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. I'm able to visualize and dream like nobody's business. And I know that I can create a vision that many people can't, and I work for it. So the vision I had was when Apollo Creed beat the fucking shit out of Rocky, beat the shit out of him, he kept fighting. He was a dumb fighter, couldn't read, couldn't write, just punchy, everything about him. Him getting up, him getting up, Apollo Creed raised his arms up in the air, turned around, thought he won the fight. He turns around and sees this guy getting up, and it was the face of Apollo Creed that changed my life. I wanted to be that, not Rocky. I wanted to be the guy that people looked at and said, this motherfucker's gonna keep coming after whatever the f is in front of me. I wanted that. So I kept picturing me falling down and getting up, and I wanted to feel something besides the feet. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. The people that are living their dream are finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for, to work day and night for, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it. And if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, if neither cold poverty, famish or gulf, sickness of pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, with the help of God, you'll get it. Do you have any regrets? No. Don't have time to regret. We move on, because we are acceptable for what we are, not what we think we should be. I'm accepted in myself by what I am, but not as I think I should be, because that's a lie. Here's the truth. This is the reality. Nobody's going to believe in you until you've already done it. Nobody's going to come and celebrate with you until you've already done it. The work 
is going to come before the belief, which means you're going to have to work for a long time by yourself with no applause, with no awards, with nobody telling you good job. And then once you start to build something and people start to see the momentum and they start to see the result, nobody fucking believes in you because you haven't done anything yet. That's the reality. Your imagination is the evidence of things not seen. You know why they say it's not seen? Because your imagination, you are the only one who can see it. The problem with your imagination is you tell it to the wrong people. Comfort zone is dangerous. When you're comfortable, you are at most danger. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. Anybody ever tell you, hey, look, you know what? Just be satisfied with what you got. Don't believe them. Get them away from you. You should never be satisfied with what you got. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. Slowly is the fastest way to get to where you want to be. And the top of one mountain is the bottom of the next. So keep climbing. If you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. Your life depends on it. Your future depends on it. Your destiny depends on it. Your miracle depends on it. If you hold on to stuff, you choke. If you release stuff, you can keep breathing. Life is going to hand you something every day. Take in what you can get out of it. Let go of what you can't get out of it. But don't let anybody hurt you so bad that you choke. It's one thing to be hungry. It's another thing when you're starving for greatness and starving for success. I know what it's like to operate every single day, regardless of the success that I've been a lucky son of a bitch to achieve. I operate every day as if I'm starving. If you want to begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. You're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go and move so you can grow, so you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? You got to get up, look at the man in the mirror and go, this is what I'm doing today, whether they like it or not. I don't give a f***. Everybody's focusing on the stupidity things that they got on the news. Don't watch the news no more. I give you the real news. You know what the news is about today? You and how you're going to conquer the world. How do you become a king? By taking it to the next level. By doing something outside your comfort zone.